Hey everyone, my name is Abdel Misa. Thank you for joining me. Uh, with the recent crash in oil prices, a lot of investors thought like, oh my gosh, this is a, a huge opportunity. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. And they went in and then bought these oil ETFs. And boy, they were in for a big surprise. So let's analyze exactly what happened, why did it happen, and also how will they have fared, how will have these investors fared if instead they would have bought energy ETFs or energy stocks. So let's get to it. So with the massive uh, crash in oil prices, I mean, oil prices even got negative, which is insane. Uh, investors look at this investment in oil ETF this way, which it sounds like it makes sense, but there is a twist to it. Okay, so uh, oil ETFs, let's take an example, USO went down from the top uh, about 83%. And then when you look at oil prices, they also went down around that same price. So if I look at the, the second oil future, it went down from the top about 81%. And then so here you go, you're like, OK, uh, I know that oil prices are not going to be in the low single digit or negative prices forever. Oil prices are going to come back because the economy is going to come back at some point. And therefore, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. I get to make so much money by owning oil. And so because these oil ETFs and oil are down around the same, about 80%, let's call it, you will expect reasonably that uh, on the way up, they're going to be up the same thing. And that's where the issue is. And that's exactly why I put together those oil videos, which you will see in the description, because I try to provide you guys a warning. You have got to understand what you are buying. And this is the big surprise. OK, what if I told you that since April 21st this year, oil is up above 156 percent. So that means oil more than doubled. Why? Guess what happens to USO? The USO ETF is actually down 4%. So think about it. That's insane, right? Oil is up more than 150%. And then USO, on the other hand, is down 4%. So let's understand what exactly is happening. I'm here to help. You know, there is a saying in the street, there is dumb money versus smart money. When I told this to my wife, she couldn't believe it. But Google it, smart money versus dumb money. I promise you, you want to educate yourself because you do want to be on the smart money side. So let's dive in to understand exactly why an investor that should have expected to really be up over 150 percent is actually down 4 percent. So let's go to the board to figure this out. So one very important thing to understand about these oil ETF such as USO is they don't trade the physical commodity. They don't own, own oil and then store it and then sell it later. No, everything that they do is through the futures market. Now, how does the future market work in simple terms? Instead of buying oil right now, you commit to buy oil in the future. For example, you can commit to buy oil at $30 and then at two months from now. That's how the futures market work. Now, the biggest mistake that retail investors make is they think that they are buying oil at $10, which is the price today. Instead, by buying these ETFs, they are indirectly buying oil, let's say, at $30 two months from now. So that's the question you have to ask yourself. When you buy these ETFs, you have to look at the future that we call this the future curve and see what prices are you paying, right? Are you happy buying oil at $30 two months from now? If you're not happy, then that's not a good idea to buy these ETF. If you are, then it is the case. So now you're going to ask me, Abdel, how come the price of oil today is at $10 and the future price two months from now is at $30? Well, that can be explained by supply and demand. Just imagine if there is so much oil available right now, then because there is so much supply, oil prices are low. 
and then two months from now production is going to be cut and therefore we don't expect as much supply and then prices of oil will be higher another way to think about it is to consider the cost of storage when we look at price of oils and be like okay like right now it's at ten dollars we don't take into account the cost of storing oil for two months what if the cost of storing oil is really high so let's say to store oil for two months it costs twenty dollars that means your break-even price is really thirty dollars because you have to buy oil right now for ten dollars and then store it for twenty dollars for two months and then you can sell it for thirty dollars to just be break even so there's another very important thing to consider which is whether these ETFs are trading at a premium or at a discount so let me explain these ETFs have a NAV a net asset value so let's say they own futures that are worth nine dollars that's the NAV however they might be trading at the price of ten dollars okay because everybody wants to own these ETF so they pay a premium to own this ETF in this case the premium is 11.11 percent that's because it's there is so much high demand so you end up like owning really nine dollars worth of oil but you're actually paying higher because you know you're trading it at a premium so you might ask how would you have fared if you have invested in energy stocks or energy ETF instead of these oil ETFs okay, I'm not saying that these oil ETFs you should never buy them obviously not but you before you buy them you have got to look at the future curve and then you have got to look whether they, they are trading at a premium and discount that's I recommend that's at least a minimum of analysis that you should do all right okay so with energy stocks they have fared an energy ETF they have fared much much better so since the bottom of the market on March 23rd an energy ETF such as XLE which I had mentioned in uh, my other video uh, see the description below is up 57 percent okay um, if you look at the stock such as Chevron it's up 64 percent okay so you will say oh Abdel what's going on like why are these energy stocks up that much versus oil ETFs which are down okay so with energy stocks the beauty is that they discount future cash flows all the way into the future so they don't just take into account oil prices a month from now two months from now they take into account forecasted oil prices all the way into the future and that's why it might be better to invest in energy stocks rather than investing in these oil ETFs I hope you enjoyed uh, today's session my goal is to really help you to learn how to invest like professionals I want you uh, to be part definitely part of the smart money and then so if you like what I have provided make sure you like you subscribe and then you press that notification bell I really appreciate it thank you so much for your support and I will see you next time